Welcome back friends. Milwaukee's had this leaf blower out for a while now. This is the single battery M18 fuel version. And now just a couple months ago, they introduced a new model. This is the dual battery version. You hear the difference? So what we're gonna do in this video is show you all the new features on the new one, and then also put together a little bit of comparison between the two. So let's get started. I've been using this original leaf blower here for at least a year now. I featured it in one of my videos, cleaning some roof gutters. And when you turn it on, you can see there's a little light that goes between the turtle and the rabbit. So it's kind of like a turbo, I guess. The very first thing I noticed with the new leaf blower, check this out. Look at those LEDs right there. So it takes the power, the combined power of the two batteries, and it shows you right there exactly what your status is. These are very bright. Even right now, it's a little bit overcast, but in some really bright sunlight, this right here lights up really well. You can really see it. So if you're going outside to do some cleanup, you'll know what you can get approximately on like one, two, three, or four bars. So if you only have one bar in there, you're gonna do a big cleanup, then you know you're gonna have to charge the batteries first. So one of the differences on this, it does not have the rabbit or the turtle. It has this, I call it a cruise control. So when you pull the trigger, You can set your speed with that right there. So I like that, it's very nice. And yes, it's heavier with two batteries, but overall it's very well balanced. It's easy to maintain as you'll see in some of my videos. So for one handed operation, it works really well. But if you wanna use two hands, you have this added feature down here, which is really nice. So if you need to get into some awkward positions, moving this or grabbing it, you can always grab that right there. And one of the other things with the new blowers, it has the two end nozzles. So this is more of a pointed directional nozzle, and this is a wide fan nozzle right here. So I would say that this would work really well when you have those wet leaves stuck to the ground, putting this down there to get underneath the leaves and lift them up. That should work well. This also will get underneath the leaves too, depending on how you point it. And I also think if you're gonna dry your car off, you're doing like a car wash, Having this wide tip right here might work really well. Okay, check out this test idea I came up with. I have some gold solo cups and some blue plastic Meyer cups. I'm going to stack them in a pyramid on this table right here. So I'm hoping that this test will give us an idea of the blowing force. Okay, so the exact way we're gonna test this, I'm gonna see what it takes to knock all the cups off that table. So we'll see how far away we can be with each one. Okay, so right there, we're not gonna move it. So I set the blower down with the single battery. So I'm gonna measure the distance between this to the cup so you know how far the single battery blower can move air. All right, now we're testing the new one. This is going to have the nozzle accessory put on the end, so that might give us a little more distance. So let's see how that works.
Okay, let's take the nozzle off. Same distance right here. All right. So interesting, when I took this off, it actually had more power from a further distance. All right, so I'm gonna use this box right here in a laser distance measurer. Okay, on the original leaf blower with the laser distance measurer here, we have 16 foot, seven inches. And on the new dual battery blower, we have 20 foot, eight inches. All right, so Oakley is checking out this test. Do you approve of the results? I think so. So right here, you can just see the difference between the two. So the dual battery right there definitely can go back further before it moves the cups. All right, as you can see, all the leaves behind me have not fallen off the trees yet. So we're gonna use these leaves from the window well. This was from last fall. So good thing that I didn't clean it out so you can make this test for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start spreading these out on my driveway here on some concrete. Okay, so I'm not sure what the wind's gonna do, but I'm gonna try to work it that direction. And we're gonna go with no end nozzle. We're gonna go full throttle, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, now let's get the mower and mulch them up in the lawn. So a few days ago, my son and I decided to bring our dog Oakley here swimming for the very first time. So we brought the Milwaukee blower along so he wouldn't be sopping wet on the way home. There you go. Good job, Oakley. So after Oakley had a chance to swim several times, we ended up drying him off. And one thing to say, with the leaf blower, Oakley loves it. He likes having the wind on him. When we're using the leaf blower around the house, he'll just stand there and just, he just seems to love it. So we were able to dry him off really well because we had a 15 to 20 minute drive and just another use for the leaf blower. He doesn't mind the leaf blower. But my other dog, Leo, he doesn't want any part of it. So if you're wondering about the run time in this, I did test it out a couple different times where the battery is fully charged. I didn't have any end nozzle on, so it wouldn't cause any restrictions of the flow. So the first test was in 72 degree weather in the shade. I got 20 minutes and nine seconds. And then I charged the batteries again, but it was 79 degrees, it was later in the day and it was 17 minutes and 32 seconds. So if you're in hotter weather, it could potentially be less, that I don't know, but that will probably give you a, a good idea at least. So one thing I wanna mention, when you're using a handheld leaf blower, you're probably not gonna be going around full throttle the whole entire time. So you're probably gonna be using it with variable speed and maybe some stop starts type things as you're moving around into position to get somewhere else to clean your yard. So you're definitely gonna get a lot more run time than just what I mentioned right there. All right, so now I'd like to know what your thoughts are between the two different leaf blowers. Would you spend more money to go with a bigger, more powerful one? Or would you rather save a little bit of money? Would this one right here be adequate for your needs? So let me know in the comments down below or if you have any questions. And then if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so because we have more videos coming out soon.